welcome to another Mad Hatter Reviews, part two of four on the Super 7 Wave 2 Reviews. And today we're taking a look at the Shredder. So I wanted to make these quick ones. I want to make these bite-sized reviews. So I'm not going to get too long-winded, which is very easy for me to do. But take a look at the package right here. You got Mr. Shredhead right there. By the way, got this from... An online store, Game Bubble Shop. I'm going to put their link in the description. Local business, cool guys into the shit that we're all into. Love love buying from like-minded individuals. But let's go ahead and open this up right here. Oh, Shredder. And the bio on the back. Shredder, the bad guy leader. Shredder is the hideous, gruesome. Is he gruesome? An all-around bad guy leader of the Foot Clan, the organized band of evil ninjas. This lowlife came to power when he betrayed the ninja master Hamato Yoshi, now Splinter. Shredder wants nothing more than control of the world. And to get there, he'll stop at nothing, even if it means grating his victims like cheese with his razor-sharp armor. The obstacles in his path are none other than the turtles, and he means to destroy them. So, with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at the shredder all right welcome back so i'm gonna address the elephant in the room number one this head okay let's take a look at it i i i, I it's got the eyebrows and it's got the the flesh tone helmet uh, look <laughs> obviously i get throwback i get nostalgia i get that the old playmates figure had the eyebrows that were on the helmet but uh Come on, this is a head. This is this is not. What are we gonna do with this? It's a. I get it's a. Go, it's a joke. It's a gag. But I would have loved another alternate head, like a real alternate head. Maybe a different expression. Maybe he's maskless. Maybe something. But this. Come on. What am I? What am I gonna do with this, guys? I. This is. This is. This is no good. So, um, just for the future, Super Seven. I love your stuff. Obviously, just some advice. Maybe make this an extra, not the alternate head. So. That out of the way, uh, let's let's take this out of the shot and never look at it again. Let's observe. Let's take in the Shredder from Super 7. So, I will say, admittedly, when I first got my hands on this, when I looked at it in package, I wasn't... I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't that in love with it. Um, I am a big fan of uh, this sort of cartoon, Shredder. And again, it's an apples to orange sort of thing. And this is obviously uh, a throwback, a Playmates version. But for me, it's just preference. So I will say that overall, I think the figure is good. Um, if, if you like this style of Shredder, um, I, I just don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't love the, the shirtless Shredder just as a model. Um, I know that some people are bringing up, well, you know, how it's a little weird because he's just got his armor just in the certain places and most of him is exposed. But the other shredder is mostly exposed, too. I mean, this 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 doesn't look like armor. So, I mean, if we're talking logistically, this is also a little a little bit of a, of a, of a fugazi. But uh, but yeah, I, I would just I would just say um, so I, I said that to say in package, I was like underwhelmed, but just feeling him in my hands. And just kind of like just taking a look at him, I, I, it's starting to grow on me. It, it, it feels like, it almost feels like something out of like Shinobi or something like like a, like an '80s video game. So there is a kitsch factor that I will say I, I do like about it. So I don't, I don't dislike it as much as I did when I first got it. So let's go ahead and just dive into some of the accessories right here. So you obviously have the accessories that they all sort of come with uh, the. Uh, the, uh, the the rack and then the the dagger weapons and the ninja stars and all that in terms of the hands you have the reach out to your hands right here and then you have some fists right here and then you have this uh sword it looks like just kind of like a redo of the leonardo sword uh mine has a little bit of like paint stuff right here um at first it was kind of like bothering me but um and it's got some on the hill too but I, I actually don't mind it it kind of makes it look like the sword has been through some uh some uh some battles so i you know i i don't i don't hate it and uh then finally you have a plastic uh, uh, uh a plastic cape so obviously on him you have the mixed media and what I thought was neat about it and, and why I did uh, like it a little more out of package is this has some wire work on there. So you can go ahead and like, you know, have that have that blow in the wind or something. And, you know, you have the you can you can get some effects out of there. Uh, this, by the way, this belt is Velcro. So you can kind of take it off 
And you could actually pull, if you want them completely shirtless, I mean, you could pull the, you can pull the whole thing off as well. Um, I'll probably, and I'll take some photos. I'll probably leave this on and leave him with the, uh, with the, uh, with the cape on. Let's actually leave this off for now. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm conflicted. Again, when I first saw it in the package, I was like, nah, but then holding it in hand, it does, it does have like, there's just something different about it, which I like. And I like this helmet. This helmet is what reminded me of Shinobi. It looks like a boss, um, like, 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 uh, level two boss of Shinobi. So, um, in terms of throwback, it's cool. Obviously, it's the Playmates version. Do I like it as much as the NECA Shredder? No, I don't. But I just like the NECA Shredder more. I just like that uh, that style of Shredder more. So let's just go through the articulation. You get the ball joint articulation. You don't get a lot out of it in terms of like looking up and down. You get the ball joint on the shoulders. No double joints on the elbows. You get the swivel right here. You get the hinge. You get full waist rotation. You get the ball joint on the thighs, which is always a little bit loose on these uh, Super 7 figures. You get the, uh, the bend at the knee, and then you get the, uh, the, the, the hinge on the ankle and the rock at the ankle. So you can do some fun things with it. And, um, uh, you know, and, and then obviously you have uh, this cape, which I think, I don't know, I'll take some pictures and, and take a look at what, uh, what it looks like uh, out, of, uh, out of package and how it scales. Well, let's just take a look. In terms of scale with the turtles so this guy's kind of crouched over but if we're just going if we're just going height yeah he's a little bit taller than the turtles so um so i think that works but uh but yeah i will say this it, it's it, it it definitely grew on me more out of package than in package in package i was like meh i also didn't love this face that's the other thing why i wish that that uh i'm just being honest well, I wish that it came with an alternate head as this face with the just sort of blank stare is like, eh, you know. But uh, in terms of presence and in terms of the way he's going to look with the other figures, it's kind of the way I feel a little bit about the NECA April. It's like if I'm if I'm lining up all the Playmates-esque uh, Super 7 line, I'm going to need the shredder because this is... This is what he looked like. This is the throwback. He had the whole do you lift bro body and the and the abs and the whole thing. So that is what it is. Um, but in terms of preference, yeah, I just like the cartoon shredder more and the movie shredder. So that's it. My honest review: Super Seven Shredder, uh, two of what is it? Two of four. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye bye.